there's an aura about him, I think, as well. Jared Anderson's huge. Jared Anderson's 6'4", 18 stone, but call him in like a baby. I mean, like a child. Fight fans, welcome back. Anderson is the uh, number one right now in America. He's a good boy, so... He's a good boy. Very good boy. <laughs> <laughs> As boxing's premier weight class reshuffles, dangerously fresh faces emerge. What did you see that made you think that he's afraid? His eyes, his eyes gonna speak everything. The heavyweight division has a new brooding boogeyman. For so long lurking in the shadows. Because now the division is on notice. You can't pretend he's not there no more. When the beast finally emerged, his introduction was devastating. But Coley wanted his heart, he's taking his heart! Finally, making his mark with strength, power, and swift combinations. He's got quick hands, but them quick hands, them light shots, has got deathly power in them. Extra power, these are extremely solid shots from a very big heavyweight in there. This is no brainless banger. They all should be afraid. This guy's gonna be a nightmare for people like Joshua Fury, Usek, amongst others. Bacoli say, come get me. Oh! It's Martin Bacoli. The heavyweight beast nobody wants to face. Bacoli! Welcome to a Motivedia presentation. And he's going to walk you down, and he's going to hurt you to head and body, and he's going to wreck your night. In my opinion, that's good. It's a 50-50. That's, that's good. Don't bet on money. That's good. Don't bet on money. I said if you're the real deal, you make a way. Maybe. I'm talking about the quality of Martin Bacoli. He's a world-class heavyweight. It's by far the toughest fight of Jared Anderson's career, and we're going to find out what he's made of. To the uninformed, Jared Anderson was hopping across the latest stepping stone to world glory. A young American prospect ready to blow away a lumbering behemoth who had already tasted defeat. What happens if he comes out and tries to bang with you? I'm going to leave that up to the fans, but just know they go here well for you. Are you expecting to knock out Jared Anderson on Saturday? I don't know if he will take my power. Let's see what he's going to bring on Saturday night. He can hit as well. Do you think you can take his power? I can take everyone's power. A big man, machine. Unbelievable. But Billy Nelson's words rang in the ears of the enlightened, telling anyone who would listen that this 31-year-old, taken from the Congo and transplanted into Scotland, was the real deal. Not only me, but Mark Bacoli believes he's the best. He's got the capability to beat every single heavyweight in the planet. Six foot six, within touching distance of 300 pounds, George Foreman comparisons were more prescient than they ever imagined. It's a 20 stone. Absolute f***ing truck of a man. Bacoli has gone in there and smashed him to pieces. Battering Anderson on the biggest stage endorsed many of the behind closed doors whisper that follow Bacoli around. And you see that being in the early rounds or more later? I think early. Between uh, four or five, I think so. And the American dream is shattered! Everyone in boxing knows how good he is. America didn't know him. They now know him and we knew what was going to happen. He's a beast and our eyes are genuinely on Fury and Usyk in December. That's where we think Martin has to be. With Usyk, I don't think he'll say yes because I mean, it's stopping as well in spying. I don't know, he knows how good I am. I don't know if he'll say yes. You're making this up. <laughs> huh? You're making this up. <laughs> I know people, what people think and what they're right. think I'm talking about I don't know. I think they must talk, I'm, I'm talking less like after Saturday's performance. All of the sparring stories about Bacoli, I kind of believed before, but I'm now definitely a believer. Mike McCauley, people have slept on him because I believe the sparring stories. They don't want to fight me. They think they will use me for spying, you know, but I smash them in the spying. That's why they're afraid to attack me in the fight. We look at kind of Fury, the Joshua and Usyk, that he mixes it. No problem with any of those. Well, he sparred each and every one of them and held his own all the time. Stopped the second spam. Why would they not think he could beat him? Claiming that he stopped Alexander Usyk in sparring, Bacoli's avoided tag has allowed him to get verbal. In the gym, when I give Usyk a hard time, Usyk never even touched me. I smash him, knock him out with a body shot. Daniel Dubois faces Anthony Joshua on September 21st and Martin's tales of KOs, knockdowns, and broken noses, all backed up by Billy Nelson, keep his name bubbling in the heavyweight mixing pot. Um, you spot both men, what's gonna happen? I spot them, I smash them, I busted them in the gym. That's the reason why they don't want to fight me. Like I'm telling them to I give them hard time. Very hard to put nail it, knock out. Stop Daniel Dubois twice. Stop Joe Joyce and Joshua. Oh, 
Oh, that's big one. Heady Hen knows that. <laughs> After sparring with this no-nonsense gym destroyer, Dave Allen labeled Bacoli the uncrowned heavyweight king. I remember leaving thinking, wow, that fella's good. I think Bacoli, I think he's the best heavyweight in the world. You know, Bacoli definitely overperformed. Man, he's a bad dude. He was very George Foreman-esque in there. Very, very powerful, good fast hands, had a game plan. He knew what he was doing. Bacoli is just relentless. Blessed with a seemingly unbreakable beard, capable of absorbing flush shots, Bacoli's jolting jab and reach means no corner of the ring is safe. Well, he just stands in front of you, and unless you can shake him off, he's going to stay in front of you. The hands are fast, flurries rapid, and uppercut a thing of beauty when unleashed within range. Oh, there it is again, left uppercut from Bacoli! Originally denoted as a lurching slugger, Nothing could be further from the truth. We've known him for a long, long time, and he's always had talent, Big Martin. Look, what heavyweights do you see today? He's like 20 stone, agile, can move around the ring, and got quick hands. He's not getting excited here because he's not loading up. He's just jabbing the body, finding that little gap. Yeah. He's now signed with Boxer, and he's beginning to call names. Usyk, Big Wad, Joyce, Dillian White, who's here tonight. Gile Zhang. Gile Zhang, six foot six. Mark Bacoli, six foot six. Gile Zhang, 280 pounds. Mark Bacoli, 280 pounds. A pair of powerful pugilists, Bacoli versus Big Bang Zhang, has been mentioned. Despite their size, both have smooth hands. But on Box Nation's interview with Martin Bacoli, he said in a fight with yourself, he said he'd make you cry and retire. What's your response to that, Gile Zhang? Oh! What a shot! Joe Joyce face down! Everybody want to make me cry. Everybody want to retire me. And I see what happens. Uh, I put them down instead. Bacoli launching right hands and left uppercuts. Zhang prodding his southpaw jab, raking overhand left, and deceptive right hook make this an explosive encounter. I expect Bacoli to win the fight as well, you know. But I think it won't be as straightforward as the Anderson fight you said because of the sheer size of Zhang. Standing eye to eye, boasting similar attributes delivered in different ways, two members of the Who Needs Them Club can thrash away at one another instead. What do you do to Zhilai Zhang? I'll stab him as too, too old for me. It was quite scary really. Bacoli and Zhang both, I think about them quite a lot, both of them. I was sat alone the other day and I just thought, what would I do? If one of them came to my house yeah. and I looked at the room doorbell and they were there and they were really angry, what would we do? In this day and age, you do have to say something. You have to have people's names in your mouth. Is there any truth to you actually knocking down and to Joshua in sparring? Yes, there is definitely truth to that. Um, Bacoli, Dubois, is that a fight you'd like to see? Absolutely, and I think they would take that in a heartbeat. Billy Nelson's got pure confidence in him, in, in putting him in with anyone. Martin Bacoli would destroy Daniel Dubois. As and would do so in a fight with 10-ounce gloves on. Stop him. Within six rounds, no problem. After supposedly laying a sparring beating on Daniel Dubois, Bacoli claimed the Londoner refused to return. What happened with Daniel Dubois in the spar? I broke his nose twice and uh, stopped him. I stopped him twice and he never said again yes to, to spar me anymore. Jesus, I mean, they must have been serious, serious spars. She's bullshit. In the real ring, Dubois has bounced back from damaging defeats and is now on the cusp of a huge AJ encounter. If you want to go now, let's go. Relax. If you want to go now, let's go. chair across your face. At this time, Anthony Joshua is the challenger for the world title. Daniel Dubois, for the first time, defends his IBF crown. Bizarrely, defeat for Daniel could make a Bacoli come down bout possible. Frank Warren here, you know my dad, and they've been supporting me from day one, and we come for anything. Dubois' stature, movement, and speed may create a difficult evening for the Congolese cracker. Going to the crowd, Miller, but he's hurting there. He's fooling no one, including Daniel Dubois. But right now, I want a big, a big fight for, for the world title and, this year. And that one name would be? Alexander! Nobody calls that guy out. So the fact that Bacoli's calling him out, that's a good sign to his character and what kind of fights he's looking for, so.
Due to their conflicting sparring versions, a scrap with heavyweight king Usyk sells itself. These shots you were showing, throwing were hellacious. The guys at ringside were ooing and eyeing. Heavy shots landing right above our commentary position. Which one of those shots did you drop Usyk with? What body shot? Step back. Goading the Ukrainian, Bacoli says the fight will never happen. If with Uzik, I don't think he'll say yes because I didn't stop him as well in the sparring. I don't know, he knows how good I am. I don't know if he'll say yes again to fight me as well. With Martin on the outskirts and Usyk rematching Fury, he's probably right. If it did, smaller Usyk would employ those same jab and raid tactics that Jared Anderson could not quite manage stabbing shots to the beast's body, hoping to chop him down. I look at that style and I think even someone like Alexander Use would have a hard time with Bacoli because he just doesn't stop. In Kuzlat he's got nice skill, but uh, I don't think he has the same power with AJ. I don't think so. AJ has got power. Currently prepping for Dubois, Billy Nelson reckons Anthony Joshua had already turned down the Bacoli scrap. Joshua's been offered the fight, and I said no in Congo. So I'm so I'm told. While tighter in stature, Joshua could match his man for uppercut prowess. If you pick Even if grueling sparring stories are true. First time I went to spar Anthony and Joshua, there was a lot of people in the gym. When I jump in, the first four round, and the coach take everyone out and they shut the door. Mine, mine, Bacoli's a good fighter, but obviously, I don't think that conversation is going to go down very well. How did it go? Oh, 50 50 that day. Wow, that was a fight. It make me believe that no, I'm a champion, all champion in the future. Anthony Joshua was a very physically strong man, but he'd be running into a brick wall against Bacoli. He would give Joshua fits. I've been watching those spars. He's done very well against Anthony Joshua. He's got a terrific jab. He's very powerful. Would Bacoli's name have the UK pulling power to draw in the casuals? Especially considering Bacoli's sole loss to Michael Hunter came on British soil. After that performance, there's probably a couple of little opportunities that's opened up for him, but. As long as I keep winning and he keeps winning, uh, he's going to have to come see me. You know, there's, Somebody's going to put a bounty on his head and I'm going to come to collect. He's had great spars with AJ. Tyson Fury's basically said he's one of the best he's ever sparred. Hey, Martin, my brother. Good luck. He's going to do the business against the Frenchman. He's going to knock him out. While elusive in-and-out motion is the key to giving Bacoli the runaround, Tyson Fury can do that. Yeah, he really is an his, de his defense is deceivingly good also. Plus, once matters move inside, Fury has the size to match. Gypsy King Tyson Fury! Yeah, I take Tyson Fury forehand, he jump out. I take Baby Mula forehand, jump out. I take Parker for round, jump out. He saw me, he saw, he knew that I'm in the machine. He should tell this kid to stay away, not give me fight. Stop using this, use this. I'll use the boat on your face, you ugly Going jab for jab, switching Southpaw can help Fury cause issues. However, with the huge Usyk return on the horizon, plus miles on the clock and waning future plans, would Fury really fancy it? If you think I'm lying, go and ask Peter, Peter Fury, uh, how good Martin was looking. Um, you're coming out the last week or two with us uh, doing those sparring, you know, and he was, uh, you know, he'd done 14 rounds back to back. What he don't realize about Bacoli is he's an African warrior. He's hungry. I couldn't be any happier for Billy and uh, Big Martin because to do what they don't. And now the door's uh, wide open because not only is he a contender, He's one of the best heavyweights in the world.